I think it's time, as a wrestling fan, for me to come to terms that Phil Brooks, a.k.a. CM Punk, just isn't what I thought he was. And I think sometimes when you're younger, or as you get older, you see some of your heroes or people that you like in certain industries, whether it's sports or music, or in this case, sports entertainment, pro wrestling, and you realize that, hey, maybe this guy isn't this legend that I expected him to be, or maybe this guy isn't this perfect person or isn't what I hoped he would be. And that's how I feel with CM Punk. I said give me the hell yeah! Best there is, best there was, best there ever will be. Welcome to WrestleRant Studios. Please subscribe to the channel if you like wrestling content. We're slowly trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so you can help us with that. Also, a thumbs up and a comment go a long way. Now, CM Punk, his run back in the late 2000s and early 2010s really brought me back into wrestling. I thought the work that he was doing was incredible. All the sobriety stuff, the heel heat that he had was undeniable. And I remember thinking, man, this guy really has it. He gets professional wrestling. He knows how to be professional. And he knows how to work a crowd. And a lot of those th things were true. CM Punk has always been somebody that I was enamored with because he is somebody that takes the energy out of the room and puts it into himself. And you could just feel it. Obviously, his pipe bomb was a very big storyline in wrestling. It hit pop culture. My dad even brought it up, and my dad hasn't watched wrestling, really, since Razor Ramon and Bret Hart were battling. So for my dad to bring that up was a big deal. The only other thing was when Brock Lesnar beat The Undertaker streak. Those are the only texts I've ever gotten from my dad about wrestling in a long time. So CM Punk had the ability to transcend and transform wrestling. But the truth is... CM Punk is not who I thought he was. I used to think he was a leader. I used to think he was profound. But now as I get older and I've seen too many instances of him poisoning the well, I feel like it's time for me to admit that CM Punk is a cancer. He's a cancer to the locker rooms that he's a part of. And his ego has destroyed him in a business that he has and could have continued to dominate. See, because w when he left the WWE, you would hear a lot of reports from people saying, well, that's CM Punk. That's what he does. This isn't no surprise. This is what he does. If he doesn't get his way, he leaves. He cries about it. But I thought that was just their way of being salty. Then I would hear reports of Seth Rollins, who always keeps it real, say things like, we don't want CM Punk back. And then maybe I was thinking that might be just kind of a, a joke, some banter. And then you look back and you watch some promos that Triple H was giving to CM Punk during their feud. And you kind of look at the way Triple H was talking to CM Punk and the way he was speaking and the things he was saying about how he could be so much better if he didn't let his ego in the way and that everything that CM Punk wants isn't for the fans but in fact, it's just for himself. And sometimes it's tough not to get wrestling blurred with real life because, you know, things are fake, things are staged, we get that. But I realize now, looking back, there was a lot of truth in a lot of these promos that people were saying to Mr. Phil Brooks. Now, after the disaster that has been what happened recently at AEW, where CM Punk was fired, I've realized that this is all true. Because Tony Khan is usually a guy that doesn't take a lot of action with discipline, sweeps things under the rug, doesn't want to, you know, wants to be the, the, the friend and the, the buddy buddy. And CM Punk getting fired by Tony Khan and Tony having to come out to Chicago of all places and explain why it happened. Because the, the not just the wrestlers, but employees of the company, people backstage, workers in the venues were afraid of CM Punk. It really just showed me that this man is just at this point a big kid. 
and that hurts me to say because once again as a wrestler cm punk is amazing and he has done incredible things for ring of honor and wwe and AEW. but that isn't enough because i just don't feel like he's a great person and that makes me feel really sad because i want him to be a great person but there's just been too many instances now where it's obvious to me that CM Punk is just an egotistical prick who only cares about CM Punk. And maybe, maybe you know, he's he's kind of the anti-hero. He used to get me on board with that. You know, he's the guy with the Pepsi tattoo, loves comic books, loves hockey. I always loved that about him. But what I don't like about him is the fact that he belittles so many people around him. And if he doesn't feel like he's right, then you are wrong. And I like that he steps up sometimes for wrestling. Even what was going on with him in Jungle Boy. He didn't want him to use real glass. Because look, uh, look what happened to Goldberg before. It's it, it's silly. It could make mis- You could make a mistake. But look, CM Punk does not own AEW. He does not own professional wrestling. He may have a weighted opinion, but it is still just that, an opinion. And I feel like it's gotten to the point where CM Punk has really bought in on his legendary status as a wrestler in the industry and has made it seem like whatever he says is the highway is is his way or the highway and that's just not how it works especially in 2023 and it really hurts me to say all these things because like i said i've been a fan of cm punk for a long time but i think it's finally time for cm punk as a wrestler to go to sleep if you will pun intended for a while focus on himself because i don't want him to come back to wwe i already read reports that he was backstage and this and that and i don't know if that was true or not but i don't really want that i don't want him to come in and poison the water again and mess some things up and try to go right to the top and ruin the chances of some guys that have been deserving it someone like la knight who i think should continue to get a push i don't want there to be beef i don't want there to be drama It's just not going to work. I think it'd be best for CM Punk to take his ball and go home for a while with his lovely wife and just think about things and think about why everywhere he goes, it ends in flames. Because the first time you can point the blame at somebody else, the second time, maybe you take a look at somebody and say, okay, is it me or them? The third time, the fourth time, you look in the mirror and it's probably you. And that's where I think we are with CM Punk. Let me know if you guys agree. If you think I'm stupid and I'm being silly, that's totally fine. It's your opinion. I'd love to hear your uh, what you think in the comments down below. I think I'm just tired of all of this. Maybe I'm getting too old, but I just think CM Punk is too old for all of this drama and all of these shenanigans. You don't put your hands on somebody backstage. You don't need to be the hero all the time. You don't need to be a bully. You need to be a pro wrestler and do your job. And that's where I think CM Punk has gotten confused. But that's it for this video. Make sure to subscribe if you're still here. Thumbs the video up if you enjoyed it. Let's get the discussion going in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. We read every single comment. They go a long way and mean a lot to us. But that's it for WrestleBrand Studios. I came from the top rope with an elbow drop. Let's hope I got the three count. You guys let me know down below. And have a great rest of your week. Best there ever